Psychosocial. <laughs> Gross. It's the Muppet singing psychosocial. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine this shit? Oh, just like Kermit. a bunch of... <laughs> The preservation of the martyr in me. Psychosocial. <laughs> mm-hmm. Psychosocial. That's good, everyone. We're back in the saddle again. Brian's got a brand new toy. And you can't see it. <laughs> you can't see it, but it can see us. It's staring right at our faces. This shit is crazy, man. I can't get over it. It's so cool. This is episode 50. Halfway to 100. Ooh, look at us. It's crazy. So to celebrate, we got breakfast burritos from a from a pop-up kitchen called Bread and Breakfast, which is like a cute name, but like, it's like, this is a tortilla. Yeah, it doesn't really... It I doesn't mean, it, really, I, at the end of the day, it does have the same kind of shit as bread, right? I mean, yeah, it's does bread, it but like, you know... Bread and breakfast, I picture like everything served like on a sandwich or something. Like this Everything is, is avocado toast. Yeah. It's <laughs> different kinds of avocado toast, all priced at twenty plus dollars. Yeah. So this is—I mean, this is not a huge burrito by any means. <laughs> like I can fit. <laughs> in this one the way hand. you're gripping it. <laughs> but it, it it is very heavy. It's very full. It's dense. We got the BBB burritos, which so. I don't know. I forgot what was in it. It was like some dried and cured beef. Dried and cured beef. So probably just like jerky. It's just, it's just fucking jack wings. <laughs> yeah. They just, just cut it up and throw it in there. They're like, here you go. It's like, here's a fifteen dollar burrito. Actually, Cheers. it would make sense with the amount. Episode of, fifty, baby. Episode fifty. Mm-hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, yeah, I understand the density now. Mm-hmm. Wow. I get the density. Thick as fuck. That's pretty good. It's good. It's dry. I need some a little bit of. <laughs> I was like. Something's missing. Yeah. There's there's a, there's something that we're missing here. It's wetness. Yeah. <laughs> Moistness. It's like a it's it's very cured, very dried, which is I guess why they gave us what the fuck is this tartar sauce? It's like a it's like a that shit cilantro does not smell crema. Like salsa. Let's try it. It's like a it's like a little little crema. I've been watching so much goddamn Food Network, dude. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, mm-hmm. my life has changed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. The crema's not bad. Mm. All right, I gotta take one more bite with the other salsa before I make my analysis. There's a nice little brightness to the plate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's professional as hell. Like I said, been watching a lot of fucking Food Network, man. Brightness, it really they brings out the. They always just use uh, like, like vague definitions. But I realize it's like the same as like people who work in like music, where they're mm-hmm. just like, oh, like that sounds really crunchy. Yeah, you know, like that's like nonsense. It's like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right, all right, all right. Honestly, I've had better breakfast burritos. I have. It's not bad. I mean, it's so dry though. Like it truly, like it. They they shouldn't cure it uh, as much as they cure. <laughs> He's fucking choking because it's so dry. It's good though. I do fuck with it. It's an interesting taste. Ugh. I just had like a piece of that bacon just like slide down the right side of my sock. I guess the whole way down. Felt like, like slicing it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Ow. Like I'm gonna wake I'm like I'm just wake up, what? I'm gonna like <laughs> I'm gonna finish this up. and just like open my mouth and just blood's gonna yeah. come out. That's how it's gonna go. Ugh. I always got confused when I watched movies when I was little, hmm. when they get like shot in the stomach and then they bleed out their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm just unaware that it's one system. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is going I was like, this is so stupid. Yeah. It takes me out of it completely. Megan and I watched um uh Dead Silence last night. Which is that the like, one with the dolls? Yeah. It's a it's just creepy as dude, fuck. Watching it too, like, it's very strange to me because it takes me a very long time to, like, recognize director's styles in movies. Mm-hmm. And this was done by James Wan, who's the guy who did all the Conjuring movies, right. did the first three Saw movies. Like, mm-hmm. he created Saw. And uh, yeah, it's really funny because there's actually, like, a wide shot where they're panning over and Jigsaw is actually Jigsaw, in it. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that wasn't hidden at all. A little Easter um, egg. But, like, there's a part where this woman gets thrown and she hits the ground. And she, like, gets up and just, like, coughs out a bunch of blood. And I was mm-hmm. like, did she just, like, break all of her ribs? Right? And they, like, stabbed her in the like, lungs. I was like, what happened? happened? I was like, there's nothing here to tell me why that happened. Dude, she I went, like, six that feet. Movie. That it's a movie? good movie. I was, I was, like, I was, uh, I was at the point where I was like, okay, yeah, it's 2007. This guy has, like, yet to kind of, like, like, James Wan has yet to really, like, hit his stride into yeah. his style. Because, yeah, yeah. like, Saw was a really big deal. Mm-hmm. But this was, like, the point where I was just like, Oh yeah, like this, like the way that some of the stuff is shot, the way that they present some of the stuff, I'm like, this is the conjuring. Yeah. I was like, this is the precursor yeah, to it. Yeah, for sure. 
So it was like kind of really cool to see that transitional period for the first time. So it was like, this is neat. But that one part, I was just like, why is she, why? Why is she yeah. bleeding so much? Yeah. It's so weird. I don't know. Fucking dying wall. I watched the new Conjuring. Oh. Not good, dude. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I not like it. I love the Conjuring movies. They're so scary. They're like yep. effective horror. Yep. Like I love horror that works and it's not like, you know, it has the, the right elements of like cliche and like new. Right. <clears throat> like you, you kind of need the cliche. Yeah, every like every bit of horror always has to have a little bit of campiness to mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. which is why like I've never really liked the Evil Dead movies. Yeah, because they're too campy, right. which like I get is like the point. Yeah, it just doesn't work for me. No, so it's like <laughs> like watching trying to find like that middle ground is so goddamn it's hard. Tough, but The Conjuring does it really well. But yeah. I don't think he directed this fourth one. Mm. I think that's what it is. That was the main thing. But it was also like they were like trying to just make some money real quick. <laughs> it, that's what it felt like. It felt like. It felt rushed, first of all, and it also felt like a, uh, like more of like a murder mystery movie and not like a ghost mm. story. I mean, it was, it was a murder mystery essentially, but it was like very little like spirit, like fucking, uh, supernatural is the word I'm looking for. It's, it wasn't as, it wasn't as like, you know, spooky. Yeah. Which is like, strange because like the, like the husband and wife duo have so many goddamn stories that you could pick mm -hmm. from. I know. That's wild. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, so that was that. I also watched Luca, the new Disney Oh, movie. I haven't seen it yet. It looks like an anime, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it, some it, of the stylings of it. Yeah. It was like, it was good. I mean, it was cute. You know, it was Pixar, though. Because oh, I, I had like really high hopes because it's a Pixar movie. And the yeah. last Pixar, well, actually, was Up Pixar, not Up, sorry. Uh, Soul. Was that Pixar? I believe did you was, see soul i haven't yet i dude the last like disney pixar or like disney animation movie that i saw mm -hmm. was frozen oh shit. like i just haven't seen anything Jesus. since okay. then <laughs> i'm so like the more megan and i talk about like movies and stuff i'm just like dude i'm such a fucking bad like film professional like i've just not seen just like 70 like, percent of the stuff <laughs> like she's like listing off all these like big names and yeah. like and i've never I mean, seen i don't know, I don't know who that is and she's just like what big lebowski yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that one uh, i know uh, like the back of my fucking hand <laughs> Um, yeah, so, I don't know if Up was, fuck me, I keep saying Up, dude, I don't know why, <laughs> Up was a Pixar movie, yeah, I loved Up, but Soul, that last movie that went, like, straight to Disney+, Plus, so good, like, yeah. so good, it had, like, it was very cute, it had a lot of stuff for, like, kids and adults alike, but it had, like, this, like, it left you with a sense of, like, deeper, like, kind of, like, I don't know. It's all about like life and existence. It left, it and left you with something to chew on. Yeah, exactly. Rather than just being like, all right, story's done. Right, exactly. So like this one, I was like, holy shit, like a new Disney Pixar movie. Like this yeah. is going to be really fucking good. And it was just like, just here's a story about a mermaid boy who goes to walk on land. And becomes a mermaid man. And like, yeah, exactly. And people are like, but the people in the town like hunt these mermaids. And so they don't know he's a mermaid. He's <laughs> trying to hide his identity. kill this child. Exactly. <laughs> And then, like, it comes out at the end that he's been a mermaid, or a mermaid this whole time. Or I guess a sea monster, they call it. Mm. And, like, but they, like, monster. instantly accept it. It's just, like, so, like, all right, sorry, conflict, resolute. It's just, like, there's nothing There's nothing there. Sometimes uh, sometimes it just be like that. I guess sometimes it just be like that, but I expected a little more from a Pixar movie. Yeah, I get that. You know? I think that's, like, the like the one downside of being Pixar is yeah, you back yourself into the story. Such sport. a high bar. Yeah. Such <laughs> a like, high bar. Or, like, anything that's, like... Still good. Like a B plus is bad for Disney Pixar. Like mm -hmm. that's the weird thing. Yeah. And I find that hilarious that yeah. like someone ha someone has done that well for that long that like anything that's like less than the best movie you've ever seen yeah. is like oh fuck you Pixar you know. Yeah, you fucking you made me waste an hour and a half and mm -hmm. I was like damn dude mm -hmm. <laughs> it's probably still gonna win an Oscar dude this is that you're right like it is a very harsh judgment of me to make. And I think I'm only making that judgment because it's Pixar. Like, you good? Yeah, I just inhaled all the spice at once. Yeah, dude. This the, There's like a pocket Ooh. of spice at the bottom. I wow. kind of like it though. Holy shit, but fuck, that hit me yeah. real quick. Even it out. Even it out, fucking Ooh. bread and breakfast. It's like, that's the thing though. It's like, it's good. Yeah. Like, it's, it's very good. If I got this, I would not be disappointed. This is a B plus Disney Pixar movie in a burrito. You know? Yeah. You're like right. it's really, really, really good, but like there's not like it doesn't have that little that little right. jump like to take it Like a little thing to edge. push it over the edge. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Like it's a it's a B plus. Yeah. It's like, not it's not bad. It's actually very good. Yeah. But like, especially for like a pop up kitchen where you're just like trying to do something real quick like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Totally mm -hmm. fine. Very very good. Very acceptable. Well, I would I would say it's higher than it's acceptable. More than acceptable. What do you give it out of ten? 
What's the final rating? I'd, I'd probably say like a like a like a seven point eight five. Like so, a, it's a C plus. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I'm right. I'm right around there. Yeah. I'm like right below eight. Yeah. You know, hovering right around that area. Like I would not if someone if I if I showed up to an event and this was the catering, mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh fuck yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Like I wouldn't be mad about it at all. Right. I would get it again. Yeah, I'd get it again. For I sure. think that's. When you when you like boil it down to like when you're reviewing food, which we are yeah, not, food we're not critics, food we're not food <laughs> we're not. bloggers. It's very good. Do not think that that is what this is. Yeah. Um, it's very good, but I think like the the ultimate test of like the lay person's mm-hmm. food review is would you eat it again? Yeah, and I would. I would eat it again. I would eat 100%. that hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I was Maybe like, I try a meat that has a little bit more moistness. Yeah. Okay. Why is that so clear? It's so clear. Bro. Is that coming from your car? Yeah. It's my car. I just left my you car You just left on. your car on. <laughs> Put it on fucking, like, uh, KCRW, and it's just like, <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> wow, it's just, like, so clear. I wonder if you'll be able to hear it on audio. Dude, I wonder if there are people who, like, have only listened to our audio and, like, never watched the video. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, they always, like, wonder... About, like, when, what the fuck we're eating and shit like that. We have to, like, describe it in vivid detail. Yeah. It's like this this corn tortilla, or this flour tortilla that is about two millimeters thin, mm-hmm. um, encased with, like, potatoes. Yeah. And some cheese. Some cheese. A little bit of eggs. Yep. This weird meat that I don't remember the name of. And then it's, like, mixed together with a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of, like, maybe some ketchup in there. Yeah. And then, uh... Yeah, all put together. Like Got this little, uh, like, basil, cilantro, crema, which is, like, very viscous. Wow. But not, but not super, like, like, not, like, molasses-y it's like viscosity. Cum. It's, like, calm, yeah. But I would like, say so. With, like, little chunks. doesn't really of taste like it, though. No, it doesn't taste yeah, much no. worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely, yeah, it's not as good as calm, but it's good as, nothing's as good as calm. <laughs> nothing's as good as calm. <laughs> Come on, like, nothing's as good as calm. Yeah, I, I was, I, I don't know if, uh... If if you're if you've only ever listened, let us know. Actually, if you don't even know what we look like. If you somehow stumbled across this podcast, and was just like, oh yeah, this is this is exactly what I was looking for. For whatever reason, the algorithm on Spotify suggested like listeners of the Joe Rogan Experience might <laughs> <laughs> might like the lunchtime. Series. As much as we like drag <laughs> yeah. everything that like yeah. the fucking Joe Rogan podcast yeah. is about. Yeah. Just the exact antithesis. People come to us to get mad at us. Yeah, exactly. That's they're, funny. They're, fuck these guys. They're like, how dare they talk if about If you like Joe Rogan Experience and Barstool Sports, you'd hate the Lunchtime Serenade podcast. Come <laughs> talk shit in the comments. Dude, Barstool is a really like confusing company to me because mm-hmm. like people love them. They, like, love, they them. love them. Oh, yeah. And like... So many stories have come out about like how they just like completely mistreat their staff, yeah. how they're like very misogynistic yeah. and disgusting. Dave Portnoy is kind of a piece of shit. Right? Yeah, and like everybody's everybody like just still loves them. Even yeah. people who are like on social media like champion of like women's rights and stuff, they're just like, oh no, I love this podcast. It's, it's like it's surprising. so strange. It's very surprising. Yeah, and, like, but it's crazy how like that barstool brand is like so ingrained in like like you know like the people who are all about it, they're all about it. Like they've yeah. got the shirts, they've got the flags, yeah. they've got the fucking merch, and it's always like college kids thinking it's that it's like kids. they're just like oh well they're appealing to like our mentality and it's yeah. just like that's not a good thing yeah. bro <laughs> it's like these are grown ass adults yeah i mean they know their market i guess that's kind of what it is but it's like holy shit it's like uh it's like nelk it's like them the full send i'm using like the full yeah. send merch it's that yep <clears throat> it's just like you know the kind of person who like buys all that shit yep it's wild which like i think i'd probably be more okay with nelk than i would Barstool. Barstool. Yeah, I suppose. They, yeah. Uh, the more I think about it, the more hazy it gets. Yeah, Never mind. it's like, I, I don't know, man. I mean, like, they're... They're kind of sitting I've got, I've got mixed reviews. Or, uh, mixed thoughts. Mixed feelings? What the fuck is the word? Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. Mixed yeah, yeah, yeah. You got there. Third time's a charm. Yeah, yeah. Mixed feelings on, on Nelk as a whole. I mean, like, you know, for one, like, I guess they're they're very good business people. Like, they know what they're doing. but like, They understand actually, their branding. Yeah. And they understand... How to market said brand. Right, exactly. So not. Like, they're so smart at that. But, yeah. like, on the other hand, it's like, I, I don't know, man. Like, they really play into this whole, like, 
it, frat boy persona. Oh, and it's yeah. very like it's very problematic. Like it's really like the language they use to describe like women and shit like that. And it's very like not to be like a fucking virtue singular kind of guy, but like it, it's just like and then like the whole entire pandemic, like they were like man, fuck this corona shit. Like, we're going to go party in places with, like, fewer laws. And, like, they're just like, <laughs> I'm just like, what do you do? Like, they've got, they got, like, strikes on their YouTube channel multiple times throughout the pandemic because they were just, they were just like, dudes. yeah. So they had to start showing them getting COVID tests on camera. No way. Yeah, they had to start showing them getting negative COVID tests because they were, like, going to all these places. They were going to, like, the fucking... Dubai, they were going to like Tennessee and like partying. I feel like, like that's frats. a HIPAA violation. Yeah. Like bringing a camera into like a medical facility. Yeah, it's wild. That's weird. How they, do you get that okay? Well, they have, because you can have people come to you. Like they oh. wear like hazmat suits though and shit like that and they like do the swag. Got it, got it. But or, yeah. like the drive up ones yeah. to your daughter's Yeah, and shit like that. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, they had to start getting, showing their COVID tests on screen because YouTube's like, this is unsafe and like promoting unsafe activity. Cause they like promote it like this huge fucking party. Like no. people are so susceptible to that. Like they're like, what this do you, is fucking sick. What do you think their like age demographic is? Like 16 to 20? Uh, like I'd say even like through like late twenties, like but wow, probably really? mostly, okay. mostly that college age. But like yeah. when they do their like fan meetup videos or whatever, cause I mean, they're always posting where they are. So there's always people who recognize them on the street and shit. I mean like they're, mostly college age people but it's like a, a lot of them are like our age older like yeah. it's like that's so strange yeah it's very interesting it's super interesting i have like this whole i had this whole conversation with megan the other day Ooh, excuse me with megan the other day where it's like people our age like it's so hard for me to fathom mm -hmm. somebody my age like being into that stuff yeah. you know right like it's weird because yeah. like you think about it and it's like okay cool like i am I have a career. I'm paying bills. Mm -hmm. Like I, I own a car. Yeah. Like this kind of shit. And it's like these people are still watching like these like shitty dudes like renting really expensive cars yeah. and like and going, going to like crazy things and yeah. just being like very irresponsible yeah. shit. And it's just like, what is this? It's not. Yeah. It's not content for for us. You yeah. Know? It's, it's, I'm like, what is this? It's, it's so strange. Like who who watches this? It's so weird to me. It does. I mean, it seems like like a 16 year old would watch that and be like, this is fucking what I want to do. But yeah. like anywhere past. Like college age, where that shit, where that lifestyle is even like, you know, something that some people in college might even want to do. It's just yeah. like, what do you, what do you do? Well, you've you've seen the thing where uh, like the number one most like wanted career path of like children is YouTuber. Yeah. Like now, yeah. it's taken over. Like it's astronaut crazy. is now number two. That's so insane, dude. bro! How could you pick YouTubing over going into goddamn space? I That's just so space. sick. I just want to go to space so bad. I want to do it once <laughs> when yeah. it's like. Later. Yeah. Let's let Jeff Bezos do it first. Yeah. Let's see <laughs> if, what happens. Let's let's hope something happens. I'm not gonna say it. Send him, um, send him off. Just just let him figure out Mars. <laughs> I saw this TikTok, and it was these people eating like outside, and they saw um, fucking Jeff Bezos walk by with security, like he was getting into a car, and so this guy gets out his phone. He's like, "Hey, Jeff Bezos, fuck you!" And this the lady's like. Hey, what's it like to be killing all your employees or whatever type shit? And he, he's literally just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> just like, I haven't updated my emotions in three years. Yeah, it's just like he did not know how to interact with it. He's like, it's so wild. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like Ugh. they're fucking joking with him and yeah. not like you know calling him out and being well, a piece of shit. My favorite thing is always like that photo that goes around. That's like the Amazon office in like 1991, yeah. and it's like the desk or whatever. Yeah. And people like fail to realize that like his dad was already a billionaire yeah. and gave him like three hundred thousand dollars. And yeah. I was like, just because that's what it looks like does not mean right. that's that's how it was built. That's yeah. not the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> that those are not the same things. It's wild. And I saw that, I saw this other TikTok that was like, um, man, it's like Amazon's the worst job I've ever had. Like what? So like, this guy's like, you know, he's sitting at a desk and he's like, man, if you want all these things, he either points to him and it's just like horrible hours, like lower back pain, like no healthcare benefits, like shitty pay, whatever. He's just like, you should work at Amazon. He's like sitting at his desk pointing. And then someone like duetted the video and they're like, I don't know. He's like, how dare you talk about Amazon like that? He's just like, where the fuck do you work at? Like what kind of, is, or, I, fuck, what did he say? He's, he said um, something about, he's just like, damn, your Amazon office lets you sit down or some shit like that. Like, it was just, like, but it, like under the guise that he was going to shit on this guy for shitting on Amazon. But then he's just like, damn, your office lets you sit down. That's just like funny. wild. How Holy that's just shit. such like a, I mean, people who work at, he was working at Amazon and he's posting shit about like how horrible it is. Like he must not give any fucks. He must like hate yeah. it so much. Oh yeah. It's, it's like, it's, it's insane too that like 
the th like if you think about now where like these insane things are happening like how bad was it in like the 80s Oh, or like, like when you had no access yeah. to like the inner workings of yep. like, you know. And you're just like, oh, wow, like this billionaire is doing great yeah. because his company's thriving. Yeah. And it's like, okay, but yeah, he's literally crushing yeah. people. It's I weird. Know. It's so strange where it's just like, what, what, how bad do you think it would have been had like social media not have like progressed to where it is currently? Like I that's mean, the probably even thing. worse. I mean, like it was probably worse in the 80s for sure because like even, I don't know. I mean, now obviously like laws have changed and shit like that, but right. like I'm sure it was... I mean, even now they're bending the laws, but even back like in the 80s when their laws weren't even as, as stringent as they are now, I feel like it was yeah. way worse. And there it's was no weird. way to be like, I have proof of this. It was just like his word against mine, and I'm a man, and you're a woman, and also I make more than you, yeah. and I'm a CEO. Like, and, you know? and then we're going to fire you anyway, yeah, so exactly. fuck you. So, well, and have fun explaining that to your next yeah. job. Yeah. And it's like, it's so strange. Yeah. It's so it's weird. wild. Uh, I always love the meme where it's just like, can you explain this gap of uh, between your work experiences? Like, oh yeah, I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love those things. Or <laughs> thing I, was, <laughs> I was in fifth grade. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Dude, I have, to, I have to do a background test for, uh, or background check for like my job now for some reason. Even though you've already been. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool, yep. Cool, 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 um, cool. And like, <laughs> it's so like insanely detailed Yeah. where it's like all of your residences from the last 10 years. All of your driver's license from the last 10 years like all of these like individual things and i'm just like this is wild that's insane this is crazy <laughs> they like, don't just pull that like they don't have software that pulls like isn't no. that the whole point of the background yeah. check is you give them like your name and like yeah. social security number. and they have to they have to go through all of my social media they, i had to list wow. all of the accounts that may have a photo of me online and I was like, I don't even know no way. that. That's so wild. yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna put down like the two that I know, yeah. and that's it, because I just don't know, man. Oh wow, that's yeah. crazy. And I was like, they're literally just gonna dr like dig through my whole life. Yeah, it's so weird. It's so weird. Where it's just like, oh, okay, cool. Dude. The two things that I like know that they would need to check, uh -huh. they have access to. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know why we have to do all of this stuff. And like consent to let them go through it. So I was like, right. I'm just gonna private my account so they yeah. can just fucking deal with it. Yeah, I mean. I don't care. That's silly, man. It's so weird. And you, it's not like this I'm, is a I, new job. I've worked there for a year. <laughs> yeah. A full year. And they're just like, hey, we're doing a background check now. I was like, wouldn't that have been like pertinent, you know, yeah. last, like, like last summer? Before you hired me and I've been around all this expensive equipment and animals and other people. Like, yeah, right. Like, I, it feels weird to do it now. Yeah. Like, clearly yeah. if something would have happened, it probably would have at this right. point. So it's like, why? It's like well, long con. You think I got that kind of capacity <laughs> in here? What the fuck do you think you I'm going to do? I'm smart enough to do that? <laughs> I steal one <laughs> chicken egg every day. It's like something very intricate. By the end of my contract, you'll be out thousands of dollars. <laughs> I'm, I'm cutting at like one blade of grass half an inch every day. Yeah. And you don't even know it. You don't even know it. But by the time I leave, this place is going to look immaculate. <laughs> I'm like, actually helping you, bitch. Yeah, you're welcome. You're fucking Just getting welcome. like really like weird oh about it. Oh my god. Oh, that's so funny. Holy shit. Yeah, I torrent, I torrent one megabyte of Avengers Endgame every day. I don't seed it. I just leech it. <laughs> I'm I'm compiling it every day every on one day. of our computers. Yeah. <laughs> I get one like microsecond further into the movie every day. By the end of this contract, I'll I'll have the scene where Iron Man dies. I guarantee I'll be there. By, by the end of this contract, I'll have half of the first act. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man. I'll have not even a full act of the movie. Oh my god, it's dude! So funny. I love that shit so yeah, much. What the fuck did they do? I mean, like the, I guess maybe. Yeah. It, Maybe someone told them that they had to do it, like someone higher up is just like, hey, where are the background checks for your employees? That's my guess, is like they, or like some like something was like brought to their attention that they're like, oh, that changes things, yeah. let's do this. Yeah. Like, that's probably what it is. So yeah. I, it's it's just weird that it's like that's this just late so in the much game. information that they need from you when yeah. you should literally just be able to give them your name, your social security number, and then they do the rest. Right, exactly. Like that's what I was that's what I was assuming it was gonna be, but then I like right. opened it up and it was just like question one through ten of forty nine. Uh, and I was like, What? <laughs> what the hell? I was like, there's no way I was I was like, oh, I'm just gonna log in and do it at home. Yeah. Like, whatever. And then I was just like, no, I'm doing this on company time. Yeah, Fuck that. 100%. <laughs> I was like, this is a lot. hundred percent. I was like, I have to research shit, I have to go find my Indiana license oh now. My like, God. where even is that thing? What dude? in the world? Why would I have that? It's been Why three do you years. Need it? Yeah. You would need it? Yeah, I have to give them I have to give them all of my licenses within the last ten years. But why would you have like that's so bizarre? Exactly. Like, most people don't have their when they get a yeah. new license, they don't have their old one. Anymore. Right. Normally they take it from you and right. throw it away. So like I, I still have mine, I just don't know where the fuck it is. Yeah. But like Megan's, like the woman literally was like, Alright, like 
um, like gave her like her temporary uh-huh. like other license and then just like cut it up and threw it away. Cut her new her old one. Yeah. Up. Really? Yeah, yeah, they didn't take mine, but yeah, because like mine, they like hole punched it, and she was like, "Welcome to California," and I was like, "Shit, thanks." I guess. Okay, cool. And yeah, then I went home. All right. Yeah, it's really weird. What the fuck? Yeah, that's so strange. Demanding. So strange. I like I like sent it to a couple of my friends who like work in the government, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was, I was like, "Hey, what are your background Working checks like?" The and they were like, "Um, we don't even have to answer yeah. some of these questions." Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, what the fuck is this?" <laughs> I have like a, a, a higher background check just than like, like Secret Service. So operatives. silly. So question weird. one: Have you ever leaked important data? Question well, two. Dude, three of the questions were like, do you have like nude photos of you online? Wow. So I was just like, so like if if someone like was a sex worker on right. the side, like if that was like their side hustle, yeah. like someone had an OnlyFans, like they have to disclose have to that. They have to disclose it. And then that would That's be something fucked. that they would say to the company and the company's like, we don't like that. And then they'd kick you out, which is like weirdly discriminatory. No way, dude. That's fucked. Yeah. I was like, this is really <laughs> shitty. I was yeah, like, a lot of these insane. questions are really shitty. That's insane. Yeah. So I was like, okay, Jesus here we go, Christ, I guess. Jesus man. Okay, yeah. holy not, shit. Not, not, a, not a fun thing, but whatever. It's great. Gonna, it's a great time. It's not like they're even going to find most... Like on, I guarantee the majority of people is just like have like just like regular old online accounts, like an Instagram here right. or there, a Facebook to keep up with friends yeah. and family. I was like, cool, you're going to go dig through my, my Twitter account with like my 210 followers. Like, what are you going like, to... Oh, like, he went live. Let's get, you know, yeah. like, what are they going to watch gonna, your VODs? Like, <laughs> Dude, they're going to go back watch and watch... hours of VODs. <laughs> oh Each God. one is like three and a half hours long, too. <laughs> they're going to have to watch every single one to see if I say anything problematic, <laughs> like, which I probably do because uh, everybody dude, does. It's like fucking... Oh, my God. I'm just picturing like fucking someone high up at the fucking Discovery Channel just like watching <laughs> snacks it's just like alright dude alright they're like alright time to strap in and then like when I'm just like uh, like in my thing where I'm just like alright grab a snack sit down and let's have and a good like, time okay. the guy's like you know what I will pauses right. it gets up fixes himself like a little like stovetop yeah. popcorn comes back sits down oh he's like alright has like his notepad hits the space <laughs> okay. bar and is just like staring right. at the screen for like 12 hours yeah that makes so you funny. get called into like some executive's office like one day you're like He's like, Shit, have a seat, have street. a seat. They like close your, close the door. You're like, have a seat. And you're just like, so what settings for OBS are you using? Because I've been... <laughs> They're like, bro, it's so yeah. crispy. Like, that alias sick, thing, dude. not even existent. Yeah. What do you do? And it's like, uh, so, it's some fucking like high up at Disney. Yeah. He's just yeah, like, dude, I've been like, trying to I'm a this. huge fan of your shit, man. <laughs> He's like, dude, I subbed, like, as soon as I started watching that, I was just like, oh, shit, I got to sub to this. <laughs> it's an honor that you're working here. Like, truly, like, dude, keep that shit up. Like, I will be tuning in. What, Monday, Wednesday, Friday? I'm on it. <laughs> dude, some Disney exec yeah. is just fucking watching yeah. my stream. Just, like, genuinely oh interested. Oh, my God. Oh, that'd be so dude, funny. He's like, baby, I'll even tier one. I'm not, fuck Prime, dude. I'm a tier one sub to snacks. <laughs> so good, dude, dude. Dude, you got a Patreon? Because I'll get it on that I'm shit, too. I'm that. just sitting there just like... <laughs> He's like, fuck, I thought you were going to fire me. Oh, no, no, no. He's like, no, no, no. If I wanted to do that, it would have been this drawer of guns. Yeah, uh, I would have I would have picked one, done. and then I would have I would have killed you. You would have the second I closed the door, it would just be like... Out. You, you know that scene in Goodfellas lever. where uh, Joe Pesci shows up to get made and then he's like, oh no, and then they shoot him in the face? It would have been that. It would have been like, that. This office little trap been door. That. It's hollow down there. <laughs> he gets up out of his chair, walks over to the door, he's like, hear that? Hear yeah, that? that's where you'd be. Opens it up, I look down, there's like skeletons yeah, in there. Like, oh my God. It's like, holy shit. And he's like, yeah. Oh, by the way, you tell anybody of this? I'm getting rid of my sub. Like, that, that's, the, that's the fucking threat. It's like, consider this relationship done. I'll Fuck unfollow, you. I'll unsub, <laughs> I'll unpatreon. I don't have a Patreon. But <laughs> he's just like threatening to like get out of the Twitch game. I'm like, okay, I guess. Or you could fire oh me. God. I guess that would be a worse thing. Uh, it's just one one is in charge of watching all your VODs, the other is in charge of listening to fifty hours of us talking. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so funny. <laughs> Someone's like, so uh, someone that you associate with has said some uh, questionable yeah. things. I'm just like, <laughs> like oh, I'm just like counting the four people I associate with, and I'm like, oh well, I do have that podcast with me. Yeah. yeah, and they're just like, yes, I believe it is. I believe it is that when they pull up like a photo of like yeah. the video, and I'm just like, they're just oh, like, yeah. at 23 minutes and 42 seconds into episode 24, you said something about a burrito, and it was a little bit not PC. <laughs> so just watch. You it next said time. the word come. <laughs> This is a family-friendly company, goddammit. You just said come to- Oh, fuck! 
company. <laughs> and he's like, shit, fuck. I guess right. we're both fired. He's like, there's my two weeks. Uh, you just sign yours too, and we'll just we'll just head out of here. Fucking marked up like crazy. Oh, dude, it's so stupid. That's dude. like the like crypto is like destroyed GPUs and like <clears throat> streaming and stuff like that. Like, I'm so pissed. I want a fucking 30 series. So yeah, bad. I've been trying to find one, and they're yeah. always they're always I mean, even gone. the fucking 36, even like the lowest one, they're yeah. gone. I went to like two electronic stores over by me, and I was just like, do you guys have any 30 series? And they're just like, no. No, like, dude. What the fuck even is that? They yeah, get, they're like, they're you shouldn't off have... the shelves before we even get yeah. stock. <laughs> they're like, you shouldn't have even asked us yeah. that. Man. You knew the answer when yeah. you walked in here. And I'm you like, I know, fuck. but I just wanted to, I had hope, all yeah. right? I'm hopeful, but not optimistic. Yeah, it's crazy. It um, is what it is. But you know, it is what it is. And we'll get it fixed for you guys soon enough. We'll have these kinks ironed out. We'll iron the fuck by out. By episode kinks. 51. <laughs> yeah, by episode 51, no more kinks here. This is a kink free zone. Dude. So we don't kink shame, but you can't but do no that kinks. here. No, we're not bringing them here. This is a vanilla podcast. Yeah, we're very, right. we're very bland humans. Look we're at us. Bland humans. This is a kink-free. My name's Brian, podcast. for God's sakes. My name is Nick. I mean, like, come on, one syllable. It literally can't go any fewer <laughs> syllables. <laughs> Unless you just went. Nick. Yo, what's up? My name is. <laughs> it's just one letter. They like don't call you N though. They just call you. What's up? My name is. <laughs> it's just the sound Yo, of the letter. It's b Yo, it's b mm -mm. <laughs> and mm. <laughs> Start beatboxing. Dude, that'd be so, such a weird lead-in. People would be so confused, but that'd be incredible. Hey guys, welcome to the episode number. This is b and I'm. Mm. And today we're gonna talk about. <laughs> that shouldn't be that funny, but it is. So That's so funny. Yo, we've got our. D Here's. Are we gonna drink some blood? <laughs> oh god, dude. Some wad. Oh, Could just absolutely slurp some wad later. Slurping. Could you imagine having a guest on that podcast <laughs> and just like not <laughs> fucking telling not them, not telling them who it is, yeah, or not like not announcing to the audience yeah. who it is. Yeah. Yo, what's up? I'm, this is, and that's our guest. And they're just like, they're like, what the fuck is happening? Like, how do I? What do I do here? Uh, that's doctor to you. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna talk about metamorphosis today. <laughs> This guy is he's Try, trying to describe very complex, like scientific things using only the first, the first sound of every word, like the first sound of the first <laughs> letter of the, every word. Would photosynthesis be a p or? F I think it would be because right? it is like the first. Yeah, it's the sound, sound of the, of the first, first letter, letter, right? So, it's so that would be even more confusing. I know because it's then it's so not bad. even the same thing. It's so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking A. Dude, we should try to write that. Try to try to make like a, a bit like a part of an episode yeah. that's just like just that. Just all and then we went to the But then two That's so awful. Awful. But I feel like we would have we would have to leave in like the prepositional phrases. Like, yeah, we have we'd to have leave to. in like There's gotta be some the rules. A yeah. like it has to be like that has to be okay because there's it would be a nightmare. Yeah, so don't like, like, well, there's gotta be like syntax to it. We'll figure it yeah. out. But like yes, yeah, so, like we're just gonna create our own language. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, just real quick. You know, no big deal. That's a good idea. But <laughs> <laughs> dude, I would, I would die. Man, you bring up some really good points. Like, <laughs> I would, I would be so confused if that like happened on the street. Like, if that, if somebody just like <laughs> did that to me, I would die. Oh on my the spot. god, dude, it is cease to interview. exist. Hey guys, it's so nice to meet you. Job interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where'd you go to school? I went to. Oh, so can you, to... so can you uh, explain this uh, gap in your uh, resume? Oh, I was... <laughs> and then I'm just like, yeah, I was... <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I was... the gap in my resume. You want to know? It's five-year gap. Well, it's because I was... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. Just so what's the salary that you're looking for here? Like, what would be a fair... Ah, uh, I think about... <laughs> Maybe like... <I> think like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I'd really love to... But like, I mean, if you could get me there, like something like would be great. <laughs> it all that would be. It. <laughs> but but you know we'd have to we'd have to what some uh, and they're like what? so it really depends on the kind of that I get. Like, is it? Why is this bit going on for so long? <laughs> Holy shit, that's so funny. What the benefits bro. like does it include? <laughs> <laughs> what what about? The... <laughs> just also have in there. They just like they just have no idea what's happening. They're like, what's going on? So funny. They're like, sir, get out of my They're office. Fucking leave. 
Yeah, just leave, oh bro. Oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Holy shit. Sorry. Sorry. Go. Having way too much. We're butt. Into the butt. <laughs> and we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> anyway, it's on to the rest of the... So uh, it just sounds like a really low sample rate. Yeah, like it just—it's just not picking yeah. up the audio. <laughs> yeah, it's like holy shit, just like really fucking choppy. Oh my god, it's a one sample rate. Holy shit! So I ran into Baby No Money again, dude. Again? <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that happen? Oh my! So we were at. Um, was it the same hike? No, it wasn't Damn. a hike. It was at um, a show. Okay, well that it. makes more sense. Yeah, honestly. but it, it was. <laughs> Like it's, he's like a rap guy. It was like an EDM show. It was like an electronic, hmm. like it was like this brownies and lemonade, like warehouse oh, yeah, party. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were throwing down like house sets. It was really cool. Very cool event. Um, but he was there like walking around, like looked completely, <laughs> he just there. Yeah. He just looked completely out of place. Cause he's like dripping head to toe in his like cool ass outfits. And like everyone there is like either like super industry wearing like all black or yep. like raver as fuck and like yep. candied out and this dude just does not fit in i'm like what the fuck are you doing here and i'm like dude i gotta say my thing again i'm like i have to do it like so, hey, yo, BB. so i see him i'm like oh fuck this is the opportunity so like he walks past me i'm like hey yo baby <laughs> daff him up again and i'm like from the hike and i don't know if you heard me because it was really loud and i was like from the hike <laughs> like i shouldn't have said that like that was so lame i could have just i could have just walked away. <laughs> hey, yo baby from the hike, from the hike, over there, from the hike, remember? I don't hike. <laughs> I've never been on a hike in my I, life. What the fuck is that? Nah, get out of my face. <laughs> don't ever talk to me again, dude. <laughs> the fuck? That's so funny. He was very chill. I didn't talk to him. I, I could have talked. I shouldn't have talked to him. I didn't talk to him. I said, uh, from the hike, like an idiot. And then he kind of was like. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> and then he turned his around to his friends and he was like. That fucking guy. What the fuck? So I was gonna hike. We should never talk to him again. <laughs> Nobody list him from every event. I don't know his name, but I see the Tiga on his arm. Yeah. Let's just blacklist anybody with the last name Tiga or like that part of it. Yeah, name. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Never let them buy a thing. Never ever let them. Ticketmaster, master. Them. Let them know. If yeah. They, if they type that into their name for any of my shows, find his IP address and just like block it from everything. Make him unfollow me on Instagram. All of it. Get, yeah. <laughs> get some eternal blue, take over his PC, uh, delete the whole thing, and then blacklist it. So that just sounds really complicated, man. Just go up and ask him his name. All right, man. Hey, yo, what's your name? Oh, what's good? My name is... <laughs> <laughs> just ruin him. He's just... <laughs> what? Yeah, it's... It's... it's, 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 it's <laughs> and he's just like, what the What are you fuck? saying? He's like, all right, so we got to blacklist somebody named... N and they're like, how do you spell that? <laughs> hey, yo, how do you spell that? It's, and then the last name is, uh, <clears throat> and they're like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can, could you imagine this whole conversation going on and trying to like blacklist somebody <laughs> at an event? They're just like so really funny. fucking loud. Oh my God. So yeah, I'm like five AO babies away from being like on a first name basis with him. <laughs> or like. Be on or getting watch beat list. the shit out of because yeah. he's like, why the fuck are you following me and why do you only say that one thing to me every time? Speak to me like a normal could human. You, could you, <laughs> you get like super like close in your careers for some yeah. reason. Like you become like friends at some point. You're still doing the, hey, yo, baby, every time you see him. Oh my God. That'd be incredible. He walks into a studio session. I'm the engineer. Hey, yo, baby. Get the, give me the fuck out of the studio session right now. <laughs> Opens the door, sees you, just walks he's back like, out, closes the door. And he's like, he's like, all right, so what are your other engineers? <laughs> they're like, the oh, one. it's just Everyone's him. booked solid. <laughs> he owns the place. <laughs> you just casually own like a studio and the guy's just like, fuck, fuck it. I'm not releasing this album. <laughs> just Tell scraps it. All the stems <laughs> we have so far, delete them. Done. Don't want them. I don't anymore. give a fuck anymore. All the sessions, gone. Changing my name, and I'm quitting music. Take those hard drives, run a magnet over them. Burn them. Um, I'm going to go down to the DMV and legally get my name changed, and I'm going to... Fuck it, while I'm there, I'll apply for a job. I don't care. I'll I work as a clerk. I yeah. just listen. I just need, I I need, just need just an out. to remove myself as far as I can from this guy. Insane. <laughs> hey, it's... Remember me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, that's... If that could, like, become... Baby, no a money. Bit. That'd be so. Funny. Baby, no fucking money. Dude, what was it like going back to like a uh, like a like a concert? Insane, dude. It was like I felt weird as fuck. I was yeah. like, I'm like, this is so cool, but I had like so many conflicting. Like, I'm like, I'm like, is this safe? Like, what are we what are we doing? Like, I mean, obviously, it's they check fax cards at the door, you oh, know, that's whatever. Nice. So like, 
it was fine, but it was just like it felt so it like felt like a dream. Yeah, that's so I was weird. Like, this is what people were doing like a year and a half ago, and it was just like it never left. It was yeah. so weird. It's also weird to think that like only, like a year is not that long. No, it's not. So it's like it's, it's really not. It's strange that that's how long it took for it to feel like an alien right. environment again. Right. That's wild. Yeah, it was crazy. Insane. So, it was a lot of fun though. Good time. Hell yeah. Good to see all the all the music homies that I haven't seen in a while. You know that I only ever really see at things like that. So right. That I'm not you know not like really keep up with them any other way, but like. So it was nice to... You're in the same circles, but it's like yeah. a very like slightly overlapping Venn diagram. Yeah, so it was nice to nice to run into those peeps. Oh, yeah. um, but it was good, man. I had, a, I had a great time. Dude, nice. I, uh, I enjoyed it. Zed threw down a secret set, which is random as fuck. <laughs> what? He came into this sweaty ass warehouse yeah, what where the this fuck? dude is like, has Vegas residencies for $20 million and he came and played a free set at a fucking warehouse. That's insane. It was wild. Dude, maybe he's testing out new material. It's like yeah. a stand-up comic. Yeah, exactly. What if that, is that how DJs work? That might be. That's actually really interesting. <laughs> Just like, all right, I can go to this, like, real, they'll eat it up. You know, I'm, I'm fucking Zed. They'll like anything I do here, and we'll see if it kills. And if it doesn't, transition to the next song. It's just like a Celine Dion recut, and everyone's like, what the fuck is this? Just looking around, he's like, oh, all right. He just like, so I had to erase it from the USB. Looks looks over, just like crosses something off of a whiteboard, like (laughs) transitions to the next song, and then just just stands there upset. Just just (laughs) mad. Just like a fucking French DJ with one cigarette hanging out his mouth, no emotion. They're so good on the decks, but they're just like, they don't even dance, they're just like, they're staring at the f- person in like the first row, like the first person <laughs> that made eye contact, contact with them. They're just like, <laughs> they don't even need to look at the board. They're just like, they can pick the songs without looking at the screen. One of my favorite things is always like watching like DJ videos of like some dude like doing this oh, with so like noxious. with like a weird like wide angle yeah. lens, and then it's the guy's so like noxious. bent like this over the he's board, so, he's and he's so like, silly, and then he like turns it just like. He'll like let it go. And then like he just it. did some sick thing. He's like, and then like at the drop, he's like, ah! like what the fuck did you do? <laughs> like, bro, it's just playing. Like yeah. you're just playing the song. I love the, the ones drive. where it's just like an edit too, where they don't even do the transition, where they like made it beforehand. Yeah. And they like they're like jumping on top of the thing, and the guy's just like, like doing this fucking like seizure inducing camera movements, and the guy's Dude, like, yeah, the fucking <laughs> the <laughs> EDM videographers. Are the worst. Oh my god, it's dude. so frustrating. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, and people are like, yo, this is fire, dude. Yeah. Like, this is some sick shit. Yeah. I'm just like, all you did was like rip off Rory Kramer's transitions from ten years ago. Yeah. And just are using that. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. all you're doing. It's you downloaded some video copilot overlays. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just using like the fucking like matte dissolve yeah. transition. <laughs> it's like, all right, buddy. with the with the <laughs> sound. Yep. Always. Oh Dude, I love I love swish pan transitions. Yeah. Like I love when it's like seamless and so stuff sick. like that. But like when, when it's like somebody getting up there with just like a fourteen millimeter and like yeah, and they're just like huh, 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 huh. like what they and got their fucking vodka soda in one yeah. hand and they're like and the guy just always looks just completely uninterested. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's so silly. They're treating it like such a job. It's the best though. Like yeah. they're, they're like they're back there. They're so serious. They're like fucking moving yeah. on. <laughs> like getting out of the way of the DJ. Oh my god, it's so good. Just to get paid $50 and like two drink tickets. Dude, it's so, like, also figuring out, like, you know, there's these people with, like, hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers and, like, a lot of Twitter followers and they work at, like, a Trader Joe's. Yeah. Because, like, their art is just not affording them anything. And I'm just like, it's so frustrating. And, like, this dude's playing a set where it's, like, he's just literally hitting a play button and he's getting paid, like, thousands of dollars <laughs> to just be so there basically money, it's insane it blows my mind it's i wild. love it so much it's wild yeah it's a it's a uh, the world is a crazy place hey hot take the world's kind of crazy dude yeah i mean at the same time hot too take. though it's like a lot like pretty much all of like like from my cursory understanding of it though so much of that type of music is done on the front end you know yeah. like you do every all of your work up yeah. here mm-hmm. so that you can like party for 30 minutes yeah you know like that's that's pretty much that, that's it kind of like a that's a pretty like like good yeah slide yeah you know like it doesn't sure. it's not like a you can't look at it and be like oh well like fuck them like they're not yeah. doing that much no, it's no, no, like okay they're... but they still put in a shit Everyone's, ton of hours yeah talented in their own right area. and that's like just the funny thing to like <laughs> like watch it because you're like you don't really know what that front end yeah. was like it's so just, just so like, funny and all you see is this guy going like yeah, I remember I was at, I was at like a show with Sako and yeah. Sako was just like he's not doing anything and I was like what do you mean he was like you see that button that's blinking and I was like that's yeah that's the play button yeah because <laughs> it's he's, not even paused he's just like so the other side is playing right now 
all he has to do is push that on the right beat and his job is done. Yeah. And I was like, that's insane. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, man, that's all it is. Yeah. And I was like, ah! That's wild. Dude, Sarko's like Jerris Johnson's yeah. official DJ now. Which yeah. Is fucking insane. Dude, well, like, so when when he started doing stuff with him, Jerris had like 20,000 like, yeah. listeners on Spotify. Yeah. I went back like a week ago. Million. The dude has, yeah, he's like 1.3 million. Yeah. I was like, I mean, they, fuck, they, He bro. has like billboard, like, yeah. Sarko's got like gold fucking yeah. billboard plaques. Yeah, he has a, he has a number one yeah. Like char- like charting yeah. rock song. Insane, dude. dude, he so he crazy. fucking they remixed like a Bring Me the Horizon track. Yeah. And I was like, bro, you literally like made something not with, but like yeah. cursory of one yeah. of my favorite bands. It's that's crazy. insane. Dude, dude. He's crushing it it's, so hard. Dude, dude, I and he's just like the nicest dude, too. He's so nice. He's just like just like such like a sweet guy. Yeah. He's just like, I just want to do my thing, man. I just want to so make good at music. It, and and that's he's so why good. he's yeah. I see Dan, his roommate, all the time. Yeah. He plays tennis. I that's see him so all the funny. Time. That's yeah. so funny. Dan's such a just another great guy. So did you see cool. fucking Nate too? Just did a song with the, the guitarist from Duran Duran. Yeah, dude, that's what's so the fuck? sick. That's what's so fuck? sick. Yeah, I saw that. that was All wild. our friends are so cool, man. It's like every time I like see shit like that, I'm just like, man, what am I it's doing? Like, damn, what the hell? <laughs> that shit is tight. Yeah, it's that, so cool. It's so I love cool. that shit so Very much. Cool of that. Uh, I love watching people succeed. They're crushing it, man. So dope. Living the living the goddamn dream. Living yeah. the GD. They're all D. Just, and they're all just wonderful. Yeah. I love them so much. Yeah. Go on, and, and it's so cool. <laughs> and and <laughs> working with. <laughs> <laughs> he made a song with <laughs> and it on the boat. <laughs> with <laughs> and it's gonna be on the and then they're gonna play it on the <laughs> and we're gonna and we're gonna get a and we're gonna, get a, and we're gonna put it on the what? <laughs> oh my! It sounds God. like a Tech Nine song. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that sounded like. <laughs> just fucking Buster Rhymes. <laughs> but it's just like one one sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's the dude from Spaceballs that like makes all the sound effects. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Fucking crazy. Did you see Corinna Kopf made? Who is in- that? All right, <laughs> let's fair go. Enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Lead me uh, in, baby. She's uh, she's just like this. She's a streamer. She didn't start okay. as a streamer. She started okay. as like a member of the vlog squad. Okay. Um, and then <laughs> Bad like, start. Yeah, and then but she like transitioned away from that and like now is like a very like she exclusively streams on Facebook. They, they like bought they put her in a contract. Like a, oh okay, kind of like what Mixer did with Ninja. Films. Yeah, exactly. and kind of like tanked his career in a way. Yeah, exactly. But she's crushing it. I mean, like she's doing great. She's oh, very yeah. she markets herself very well. Um, <clears throat> huge online following, and um, so she started in OnlyFans. Right? She's just like, hey guys, like I'm gonna do an cool. OnlyFans. Of course, you know. Dude, oh, they make so much goddamn money off yeah. that. Yeah, and so then so, um, fuck yeah, let's go. In the first 48 hours, this girl made 1.5 million dollars. Oh, people just subscribing or, or like buying packages? Subscribing. Oh, fuck, yeah. dude. Yeah. Holy shit. That's like when, when like OnlyFans it's started like small. popping off and like people were like posting like them like getting their bag, like showing yeah. like their earnings per month. Yeah. And like what like one girl posted that she made like $125,000 in like the month of June. Yeah. And I was like, bro, yeah, this is insane. Crazy. It's like good for you though. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, that's so tight. Wild IRS has got their fucking eyes on you now though. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. If you, I'm like, you don't you don't put that shit in there, they are yeah. going to end you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like, all right, I'll I'll keep an eye out for that next April. Yeah, next April. They're like, um, I better be seeing that. that over there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if the IRS has like like uh, people who just like go through people's social media accounts and like flag shit. I mean, the Secret Service is a member of the Federal Reserve, so like the Secret Service, like their biggest thing is like investigating like tax fraud and yeah. stuff. So like that's how like they got Al Capone was the Secret right, Service for and like in <clears throat> investigating him. That's crazy. So it's like yeah, it's weird. That's crazy. It's also weird to think that the people that like protect the president are people who are just supposed to protect money. Yeah, <laughs> like that's right? kind of their I mean, That's goal. all it is. That's it's interesting. It is. That's wild, dude. Dude, that's one point one one point five milli. In 48 hours. That's insane, dude. Insane. That's so sick. Absolutely insane. Do you think, like, I, I want to know what the, like, um, what, like, the analysis is between, like, men and women on OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see Because, like, that, that I feel like that would be the one industry where it would be flipped, you know? Yeah, where, like, men are making 70% of what women right. are making. Right, not even. <laughs> Which is, like, yeah. a, like, just such a weird 
thing to say like nonchalantly right <laughs> but like yeah I'm, I'm like i wonder what that is because like yeah i would like to see the top male creator on yeah <clears throat> only fans jesus christ do you think any of them are in like the top like 0.2 percent because like you know how people like put that in their bio yeah. where they're like top two percent on yeah. fucking only fans yeah. it's apparently like, it's not i mean if you're just consistent and you have like a decent amount of followers like you know and you're like, hot yeah, it's not hard to be in the top. I mean, not 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 hard. It's just like I think OnlyFans is so oversaturated with yeah. people who have an account and then like think it's a good idea for like a month and then like yeah. stop posting. I mean, I have friends who've literally like have OnlyFans because right. they were just like, I'm just gonna see what happens, right. and then they just like got bored. It's like yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like because of the oversaturation, just like the people who regularly post and like have subscribers, like they're usually gonna fall in the top at least ten percent. Yeah, I think it's what it is. Which but I, I would is, be really interested <clears throat> to see. Like that's basically what social media is, though. It's just, it's yeah. just consistency. Oh sure. Like if you keep putting stuff in front of people yeah. eventually they'll just be like okay yeah they'll just accept it yeah. you know yeah exactly which is so so weird yeah. it's literally a it's it's an entire industry that's just based off of brute force mm -hmm. it is man the algorithm favors like people who push their shit yeah it's but so not strange. you know only specific kinds of shit which is so wild yeah it's just, it's just broken it's so weird and that's like the like the thing with twitch too is like you know at the end of the day everything is to sell advertising all sure. entertainment is just advertising space like mm -hmm. that's its point mm -hmm. so like which is a really depressing thing when you start thinking about like that's what you devote your life to anyways um <laughs> i don't want to go point? into that existential spiral yeah uh, <laughs> but it's like it it's strange because like even still like since like we've made affiliate and stuff like that mm -hmm. on like Twitch, mm -hmm. like we have ads that play in front of our stuff. Right. But it's like there's like <clears throat> ten people that watch our stream I know, at a time. A wild thing. So it's like yeah. it's so it's so strange yeah. to see like where they fit into that, where they're just like, all right, who can we dump ads right. onto? Yeah. And then just anyone. Make anyone them go. they can. It's wild. Yeah. And then like you have that algorithm just favoring it where it's just like, okay, cool, this person streams ten hours a day, every single day. Mm -hmm. Like that's the thing that blows my mind because like a lot of them like will stream seven days a week. And even like on the hours weekends. on it. Yeah. Where I'm just like, you know, at fr from like the outside looking in, sounds incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just get to play video games and yeah. talk with people for eight hours a day. Cool. Dude, that would be exhausting. To try to build that from yeah. nothing? Yes. 100%. Oh, so difficult. I couldn't even imagine. It's but that's what you have to do. Yeah. Like, if you want to be big, like, big streamer, like, you have to either have a huge online following first and then like convert them to Twitch, or yeah. like, if you want to grow starting with Twitch, fucking good luck, yeah. dude. And I mean, if you, if you want to grow, like on the other side of that too where it's like okay cool if if you don't have the online following or whatever you either have to be incredibly lucky mm -hmm. or beat yourself to death to do it yeah it's so it's so yeah. interesting <clears throat> because it's like you know people go viral that works but that's one person right. in like millions yeah so it's crazy to like yeah. think about that like separation of like okay where where is someone's success meeting with like the amount of effort that they put into because it's mm -hmm. definitely not one no, to one it's not especially I mean, you gotta keep it up even if you do go viral yeah. You gotta like if you don't have that fucking work ethic, you yep. gotta keep, whip yourself into shape if you yep. wanna keep those yep. followers. And, and a lot of those people are like normal ass people who are like just like have a life right. already. Yeah. So it's like okay, cool. You're just gonna like. It's like a flash in the pan. Just like yeah. I had a week, two weeks maybe, and then like, people are like. Oh, yeah. Not doing and then it's like okay, cool. If you don't, if if you go into that, you have to like quit your job. You yeah. have to change like your entire yeah. work, like your like work life cycle. You have to change all of this shit in like a week mm -hmm. in order to like maximize it. Mm -hmm. And that might not even stick around for like yeah. a month afterwards. I know it's fucking. It's crazy, dude. That's why like <clears throat> investing in like social media shit. I'm just like, eh, I'm gonna do it for fun. Yeah. But I'm just like, I'm not gonna like bank on this right. because it's insane. No way. That's an insane thing to think. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I should start an OnlyFans. Fuck, we should start an OnlyFans. <laughs> That'll be our hot tub stream, man. Let's do it. I really want to do a hot tub stream. Man. I do too. I really want to do we it. We should do it. We should fucking do it. <laughs> we'll play like Mario Party in it. I'm so Have like a TV <laughs> floating and like a floaty in I'm the hot so tub. down. That'd be so right, fun. I'm going to hit my, my friend up who has a hot tub. Dude, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. That'd be, that, that, we should do that. That'd that be would be really sick. funny. That'd be sick. All right. We're doing that. I mean, Twitch has its own category for it. I know. Them. Pools and hot tubs and beaches. Yeah, which is... Who's streaming on a <laughs> beach, bro? It's like one thing to stream in your hot tub at your home, but like at a fucking beach. Where there's like kids running around and shit. Yeah, like, what are like, you doing? No Wi-Fi? I'm like, what are you, no what are you doing, man? You've got like a fucking like a 5G laptop yeah. that like you're hot spotting yeah. to in order for Just it like to like this, send it out. You those like streamer backpacks yeah. with like all the shit in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, fucking crazy. Well, have you ever seen like the... So there's like a... Cool, 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 cool. You okay? Sounds broken. <laughs> you good, bro? <laughs> their whole like their whole <laughs> engine just blows out of the front of their car. Um, 
But have you seen like those things like where uh, like IRL streamers have been like followed by like fans and shit, just, and like, like they've got their stuff, stuff and like they're just like they're like here's the timestamps yeah. of them following me for yeah. like an hour and a That's half. That's terrifying. The, the worst one that I ever saw was like this girl was in like Japan and like walking around and shit. She like sat down and this dude who had been following her for like going on an hour like sat down next to her and like just put his arm around Whoa. her and she was like uh don't do that yeah. and then like he like left and then about 10 minutes later into her stream he was back in the background and like Bro, it was just fuck so that. fucking creepy That's and i was so like creepy. i would never want to do that no, don't want to do that no, thanks at all yeah. if it was like an event where someone was like this would be a cool thing to do like if i was going to comic-con or some right. shit sure why right. not but right. just where like a bunch around. of people are gonna be, yeah, exactly. But I've seen so many people get stream sniped doing yeah. IRL. It's terrifying, dude. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, especially when you do it in like a big city, like yeah. a place where you you'll yeah. probably have a lot of followers. Right. Like if you did it in LA, if you did it in whatever, like you have a lot of followers in the city. Like creepy yeah. as fuck. It's just uh, the whole thing is, yeah, dude. It's very scary. People are predatory. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just me. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Don't be man. fucking weird. Bro. Don't follow people on their don't IRL follow streams. People. Don't, yeah, just don't follow people. Don't follow people at all. <laughs> I feel, dude, it's like weird. walking down the street, if I'm if there's someone in front of me, I'm just like, fuck, I gotta like either stop here. I always like try away. to like go across this way because I'm like, I don't want this person to think I'm like fucking being dude, weird. Okay, so like the the when I would like first started living here, one of my friends was like hanging out with me at my first apartment. And we like lived in a neighborhood and we were like on this corner and I was like talking to her in her car before she was like mm -hmm. going home for yeah. the night, right? So I'm like standing there, I'm like, yeah, 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 you know, whatever. And like, I turn around and my, like, she was parked here, rode, my apartment's right here. Mm -hmm. So like we finish up and she's like driving away and this woman had like crossed the street there. So I crossed the street and started like walking towards my apartment and she like turned around, she goes, um, can I help you? And I was like, I live right here. I was, <laughs> I was like, you just hell? saw me right yeah. there. Uh, <laughs> what? what <the> <laughs> so I was like, I get it. No, I get totally, it. Totally understand, but I was like, I'm already like diverging away yeah, from you. Yeah, right. So I was I'm like, like making it clear that I'm like, yeah, I'm like I'm, I'm I'm sorry, but I live I live here. <laughs> so I was like, I didn't mean to like make you sorry, feel like Sorry, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, have a good night, and she was just like, yeah, and just left, and I was like, <laughs> ran okay, back inside. I was like, shit, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry so for sorry. being alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm such a fucking idiot. Psychosocial. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. It's the Muppets singing psychosocial. <laughs> Bro, could you imagine this shit? Oh, just like Kermit. a bunch of... <laughs> the preservation of the martyr in me. Psychosocial. <laughs> mm -hmm. Psychosocial. <laughs> the fucking, uh, what's his name? Animals just like hitting the yeah. drums. A bunch. <laughs> Dude, that'd be, that would actually be really cool. They're all wearing masks yeah. and shit, too. I'd love to see oh, that. Oh, that's shit. so funny. Did you know fucking Corey Taylor has, like, a solo career? Really? Yeah, he put out, like, a like a rap track about two months ago with oh, Tech shit. Nine. Oh, fuck And yeah. it's Corey Taylor of Slipknot yeah. and Stone Sour. Damn, okay. Insane. With Tech Nine? Tech Nine's yeah. so sick, dude. I love Tech Nine. It was, so, it was like, weird. So I was looking to it, and I was like, this, I was like, this is kind of good. It's, like, it, it, it still has, like, that same kind of, like, metal thing to it. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Tech Nine came in, and I was like, whoa, 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 what's happening? Damn, that's tight. Very confused, but it was really fucking cool. I'm gonna have to listen to that. Yeah, dude, very strange. Super weird. Um, I didn't find a good relationship advice this week, but... I do have a maintenance woes story. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a short and sweet one. It's been a while. It's short and sweet. Um, so when Emma was here last weekend and we stayed up late to go to that party or whatever, we come back, it's like 3 a.m. And I'm like, all right, man, I'm really looking forward to just sleeping in tomorrow. It's like a weekend, Saturday, we're going to be fine. <laughs> On a weekend, 7 a.m. Saturday morning. <laughs> From outside the window, I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's a joke. I look You've out been the window. Asleep for four hours. I, yeah, at this point. I'm sleeping on the couch. I'm. Lo I look out, and the street is gone. <laughs> <laughs> All of the buildings are closer to you. Yeah. Like they just deleted the street. Street delete. <laughs> yeah, the street is just fucking torn out. There's fucking huge, just like excavators and like all these construction things and like road closed signs. I'm like, what? is happening this is insane i'm like they're really doing this right now tore out the whole street i'm like this is fucking insane ow oh god eyelash either yeah I'll, yeah eyelash dude that happens to me all the time and then i'm like megan look at my eye and she looks at me and she's like i don't see anything i'm like it's in so it's much pain it fucking hurts ow oh bro it's coming back dude just pour some drake tears in it 
think I got it. Fuck yeah, let's go. Um, oh my eyes, <laughs> dude, your eye is like fucked. It's yeah. so red right Holy now. Holy shit, that hurt. Jesus, um, my eye hurts like now. Stabbing me. Um, anyway, so it's like so loud. I'm like, God damn, this is so annoying. Like, whatever. I go about my day. Um, they get that side of the street done. So like all the way, like three three lights down. They they pave that, and then this stuff is all torn up still. So Sunday they don't do any work. Whatever. I don't know why the fuck they decided they could do work on Saturday and not on Sunday. This part is all torn up. They don't have the road closed signs though. So we're like, all right, whatever. Sunday we go about our day. Monday, I try like Monday morning, like early, early, early. I get a an email and I wake up and I see this email and it's like from the maintenance or from the front door. Front fuck me from the front office. My eye hurts so bad I can't think. <laughs> And they're like... <laughs> the fucking optical nerve is yeah. just sending pain <laughs> to your brain. It's like, nah, man, you can't talk right um, now. Just like, um, hello all. This might be... This might have come as a surprise to you, as it certainly did to us. Like, it, they were like mad that they, they had to send this email. They're like, you will be unable to leave the garage today until 3 p.m. And I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, what if someone had to work? I, dude, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's Monday. I'm like, yeah. people have to work. So they're just like, you might be able to ask them nicely if you can get out, but I, they're like, I wouldn't count on it. Like straight up, they're just like, you can't leave. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So I, I was not home when I get this email. So I, I try to come home and uh, I, I can't. Like, so I, had I just park, can't. I had to park over there. And like, they were even being weird about me, like walking across the street. They're like, hey, I'm like, I'm like I live there. And they're like... Roll their eyes or like, oh, okay. I'm like, this is insane. I'm like, hey man, I'm just as annoyed as you. Yeah, I'm like, All I'm right. sorry, but like, yeah, we literally like the garage was like full. I mean, it's a Monday, and like normally it's pretty empty because people leave for work. Right, it was full. What do you tell your fucking employer? Like, hey, sorry, man, I had to. They uh, deleted my street. Yeah, so. my street was just gone, and I couldn't leave. So I mean, luckily, I think people are still kind of like in that work from home transitional phase. Yeah. So I'm sure it didn't affect too many people. They can just be like, "Oh, it's work from home today." But like, right. imagine any normal situation where you couldn't leave your house until 3 p.m. unannounced until 7 a.m. the day of. That would not go over well. That would suck with anyone. That would be awful. And what are you gonna fucking pay me my whole day's rate? Like, what do I go to the front office and be like, "Hey, man, I missed a day of work and I have to use like sick leave for this"? Like, what are you gonna? Yeah. You know, what are you going to do? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to reimburse me? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? Hey. As they're like still pissed off writing yeah. <laughs> another angry email. This is crazy. I, I do not appreciate that you destroyed our street. It's, it's like, okay. insane. <laughs> I saw this girl try to pull in at like 10 a.m. She tries to pull in two cop cars. <laughs> come in after her with the fucking lights on that fast yeah they were, i guess they were at the light behind her and she just kind of like goes around like through these cones or whatever and i guess that's illegal so they like pull up behind her into the parking lot and they're like yo like what it was so funny because they park and like one cop it's like these two big suvs and obviously it's not like a threatening situation so they're not like you know like oh they like she the one cop gets out of the one side of the door and then another cop gets out of the other side. And then three cops get out of the back of the car. Like, I'm like, you guys fucking just, like, ride in the prisoner seat? Like, <laughs> Did all you the guys time? just go to Chipotle yeah. and you were like, oh, let's carpool? Yeah. It's like, so five cops get out of one car. they have to in order to get into the back seat? Oh, I don't know. I is, that, a, is that, like, an entry requirement? Yeah, yeah, maybe. It's Even, like, like, cops? They're like, hey, man, if you want to ride in the back seat, like, hey, you sorry, gotta I have you. to. It's just, like, the rule. I have to brutalize you two at, at first. <laughs> they just beat the shit out of another Oh, God, that was fucked up. Oh, my God. Five cops get out of one SUV. I'm like, what the fuck? You guys don't have your own like budget cuts? Are that bad? Good. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> I hope. I hope this is just as annoying for you as it is for us. I hope that this is the norm. Six cops in one car, <laughs> like a fucking circus. Anyway, so I couldn't leave my house on Monday. Dude, that's so shitty. It was so. It was so annoying. That's so funny. It was though. really annoying. Like they were really upset about it. Like I couldn't even walk across the street. Yeah. Like don't they normally have to like post something, being like, "Hey man, you can't fucking park yes, here." Yes. They have to do. They have to do that, or they have to say, "Oh, construct." They have to give you one of those big light up signs. It's like, "Hey, yeah. there'll be construction from this time to this time on this day. Plan accordingly." But Wild. Like, they didn't. There was none of that. And they, all they did was just repave it. It they tore like. it out and they repaved. Yeah, they did nothing special. Like they didn't uh, like lengthen it. They, there they wasn't like a sewer it. pipe that was like blown up. And it wasn't even something. like like it was a fine. It wasn't Weird. a great street, but it was a fine. Yeah. There was not like big holes or anything. Right. I've never like really complained about it. Yeah. That's it's so strange. <laughs> I don't know. It was so weird. I feel like some like like you know fucking private investor yeah. lives in one of these things and they're Dude. like, hey man, hide the road. Why? Pave it. <laughs> 
He just like flags down a construction yeah. crew. He's like, hey, uh, can you guys redo this whole street? And they're like, sir, that's not how it works. He's like, I own this street. And they're like, okay. And they're like, here's money. And he's like, like, okay, all right. I'm fine. All right. They're like, we'll take that. I, sure, we'll pave it into the into the road. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why, why, might as well. We'll pave it with your. We'll pave it with your tax dollars. Yeah, literally, well, your dollars are. They're making us pave. <laughs> they're making us pave. Make me pave, dude. Baby. That was like my last, like my last apartment. We like got an email one day that was just like, hey, we have to like, m- like you guys can't park in the back for mm. this period of time. Mm. And we were like, what the fuck? Why? And they're like, what we're we're adding a unit. Oh to the yeah. Building. Oh yeah. And we were like. <laughs> what? That's insane. So like my bedroom was like, like if our apartment's like this, my bedroom is in like the back corner. Mm-hmm. And on the other side of that wall was the parking parking lot. Wow. 6.30 in the morning, one day, I, I was on the night shift at the time too still. Oh, so like I woke up at 6.30 in the morning to a diamond saw going through the concrete on the other side of my wall. And I was like, are you no, fucking thanks, kidding man. me? It Jesus. was, oh God, it was the worst. That's so obnoxious. Yeah, it was, it was the worst. It was the worst experience. Man, fuck construction. But also, like but also, at the same like, time, it's like, like it's like we kind of need that. I get it. I, within a reasonable uh, amount start, of time. Like, start at eight. Like that's like a normal time. Yeah. Like, why are you starting so early? Yeah. And on a Saturday, it right. just doesn't make sense. Do the weird, like the crazy thing is, is like driving on like freeways and seeing like dudes out there at like two in the morning mm-hmm. with like spotlights on like yeah. paving roads and i'm like what is go home it's crazy i mean it's the only time when there's like not a lot of traffic true yes so it's strange man traffic it's crazy construction's weird fuck hey man construction's weird construction just That's be like take that, away man. construction just be like that episode 50 ends on a note about construction, construction civil engineering like baby yo i fucking love to pave the <laughs> i love to i love to it just sounds like you're trying to like throw up. Get like a little phlegm in there too. How would that work in like a different language? Oh, I have no idea. Like French? Like Russian? <laughs> just trying to think of it with like a, like a German accent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, this is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is my friend. This is my friend. <laughs> oh yeah, the my friend. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it's in reverse. <laughs> like if you play it back, it's gonna say something about like Satan's coming yeah. to like rule yeah. our land, some shit like that. Some like weird Beatles oh, message. Holy shit! Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to episode number f- of the Lunch Times of the lip of the lisp of the lisp. lisp. LSP, oh, baby. LSP. <laughs> you ever fucking drop some LSP with your homies? <laughs> okay. All, All the right. tablets, it's just like our logo. <laughs> yeah. You just like put it in your mouth and like nothing happens. Nothing You're happens. just eating paper. You, list, you have to listen to us for an hour <laughs> until it goes it gets, out of your system. It gets beamed into your yeah. head. You're just like, oh. You're, hi, I'm, and I'm. It's all of the episodes playing at the same time. Oh God, for an hour? <laughs> that would be insane. Damn, that'd be sick. I, I actually kind that. of want to tile that and yeah. make that a video. That'd, that'd be, be really crazy. Funny. That'd be Holy so shit. funny. I'm going to, I'm. I'm gonna do that. Brian's gonna do that. <laughs> That'll be our fiftieth, our fiftieth episode. <laughs> yeah, is all of the all episodes, episodes at the same time. Once. And like when one ends, like it just blacks out yeah. that corner of it. So oh, it just like keeps so going good. until they're like all. God, gone. what an undertaking that would be. But that'd be funny. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, well, hey guys, I hope you learned something, um, and I uh, hope you have a wondrous evening. Write to your uh, local representatives about bad construction practices. Straight up, yeah, lobby for that shit. And, um, you know, let us know in the comments if you've ever seen our faces or if you discovered us from Joe Rogan's podcast. And we will see you next time. Middle, middle of the day. day middle of the week. week. Damn it, you fucking... <laughs> God damn it, I thought... <laughs>